friends in this video we are going to uh, integrate redux form for our form handling and we will see how to validate the forms and uh, if we will have the time then we'll see how to integrate the backend apis for this sign up and login so we'll start from the sign up page let me check if we have yeah so this is the sign up page which i have configured inside my components route so here you can see i have passed initial true so whenever uh, i'll refresh the application the first screen which is configured here as the initial true it will be loading here so i'll close this and uh, we will integrate the redux form so before integrating we have to install it for installing uh, yeah npm install redux form save so let it install the dependencies meanwhile we will check how to use that form here i have opened it so overview data flow you can check how it works in the internally and then the first step is to import the reducer inside our combined reducer page file sorry and then we have to use this one inside our combined reducer so we are doing that here so we have to do it here okay and the initial setup has been done the second thing we have to if you are sure the module is run let it be like this dependency npm install okay so uh, yeah i think it has been installed some issues there so we'll re uh, we'll reinstall the application react native run android and i think it will work fine as expected yeah not an issue we'll do again yeah so if you guys also face such errors just restarting will most of the time it helps if you don't understand the problem if you can't find the problem anywhere if there is a problem but you don't understand that then you have to google it but if you can't find the error then just do that one and yeah so initial setup has been done the step one which is now step two is form component so they have created a form component the first thing which is is this we have to import it inside our file where we have to create the form so i'll install it here not import it here sorry then here they have done return form here something something will go then this is the next step which is redux form connecting to the sign up form so the way we have uh, we have not done anything so we'll do oh sorry uh, yeah export default and default is this one we'll copy the complete thing and we'll paste here itself unique names for form so the form will be registr this register we can this name should be unique for each form then only it will work fine properly then sign up will be going here and all these css stuff styling stuff i'll you can't say it css but styling will be fine for this so we'll paste it here because it is not necessary in the down downtown okay now the third step is note if okay yeah here you can understand that what i have done there if you can't understand these things okay step 3 is uh, let me check step 3 what do we do yeah we have to import i think we have imported this one yeah we have imported this now we have to create the fields so how to create the fields this is the field and uh, this field which i have copied from there this is required for input text so the text uh, input type text this works for web but since we are building in react native so this is not required and in this component we will pass a function will pass a react native component instead of this so the first name will be an ami name then we will pass a label also lbel label which will work as a no no label is not required 
we will pass a placeholder but first we will create a function for this so the function name will be something this dot render which I have already copied somewhere here so uh, for the sake of not writing this function I have just pasted here I'll explain you what this function does uh, yeah so here it will go like this dot render text input this is a function this is the text input which is like this uh, this is a custom component I have created but internally also it is using text input which comes from the react native these are the metadatas touch error pristine those things you can get from here on change function you will get inside this from this input tab so this is a destructuring parts that's why if you are not familiar with the latest version of javascript which is es6 then you will find it difficulty so go and read destructuring then you will understand this code automatically and these placeholders and the security all these variables are coming from properties sorry not variables are from here so you have to pass the placeholder so i'll pass name and then you will check huh. so input text is not defined that is true so we have to create a component separate component for that and the name will be input text so this naming convention comes from in react native they are using text input so i have just interchanged that name it will become input text for now for us actually and for that a component is there simple component i'll explain you yeah so here are the styling part here are some default props here is the prop types prop types means it's a kind of validation for your props if you are passing so nothing else and here is the normal text input which comes from react react native yeah and uh, styling we are using we, we are using security placeholder security all these things are coming from the props this dot props equal to all these things so since this security keyboard type max length value on change text on uh, submit editing these things will come from here right some things will go from here like this 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 label so label was there to uh, you know if some text is there since we are using the placeholder thing so I think label is not required for us so for that case it was there now I will reload the page and we will see text input is not defined because we have not imported it I think so we have to import it also import in yeah in put text from where com components and slash input text there you go now this input text will automatically because we have simply copied and pasted it so it will work fine now we need two more fields which are email and password and this is coming from because we have not removed this form stuff here so I'll remove it simply from here and uh, I will copy it three times uh, sorry two times and uh, shift shift paste okay not a problem then this one will be yeah so instead of name this will become email or oh, email this will be email this will be this only not an issue and this will become passwrd password this will be pass W O R D password and render text input will be fine but I don't understand why these things are is there anything that I have copied wrong okay we'll save and then we'll check if any error is there yeah so there is no error these colors and all it's very difficult to understand so I just left it as it is and uh, yeah now we need a button so see as you have seen we have a form and inside that there we have a button which is this we'll copy this button from there and we'll simply paste it below the password simply and make sure you have to import this styles also which is button button text so I'll go inside my form I'll close these things which is not required don't save this is also close it don't save so yeah so these two things we will copy from here which is button and button text so that the design will come and this we will paste in our styles here 
okay now it is fine some issue with yeah the text is not there because we have used it as a props so as you can see we have written this dot props dot type oh, we'll remove and we'll write sigg we'll write sign up and this is not a props function so instead of this on we'll pass a second function which is our create new user create a new user instead of this we can pass create okay so instead of this we don't have to pass this one but we have to import something like uh, I'll tell you where they have created the form yeah so they have this handle submit we'll copy this we'll paste it here import the props and then we will use this one this one as on press handle submit it is a function it takes on cub mit submit function as a parameter so this function is an expression now props is not defined because this is not directly props this props uh, you can use in the functional component since this is a class component so we have to use this before the props and on submit is there let me check if it is there on submit is not there so on submit here the values will come automatically from our redux form when we are uh, uh, passing it inside the handle submit function and then we will check here we'll log and check values and i think uh, on submit is not defined because it is not on submit i did a mistake it it should be this dot on submit this dot on submit and it is fine now if you check if i'll pass any values here if i'll pass any values here if i'll pass any values here see this security type should be there so that the password should not be visible and if i'll do sign up you will check the details we are getting inside our values object here yeah. so your name email password and this console comes from here okay now one more thing security which should go inside our password so here is the password we can do it true t r u true and the application has crashed you can say it is crashed so we'll rerun, rerun again let it take its time yeah so yeah so you you can see this password field has automatically converted into some dot 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 so the redux form has been integrated now we will do the we will create uh, yeah we will create our initial reducer which is right now blank so here we will create const initial state equal to an object which has a user as of now it is null and then which second thing is is logged in is yellow gg logged in which is false then is error that is also false then error errors equal to null so inside if any error is there array or object that we will pass it inside this then instead of doing okay so first of all we will pass this here initial state so the initial state has been configured the second thing is uh, we have to create a file which is a service file so let's create that file in the second video uh, inside this we will create uh, we'll use the fetch api to create the service file and that file will work as an axios so if you guys have used axios pretty similarly it will work and uh, not all the functionalities of axios we will cover but yeah some of the functionalities which which, uh, which are required for this application we will do it okay so guys please give your feedbacks ask me questions and uh, guide me also if you know better than me definitely most of you so yeah and uh, yeah don't forget to subscribe because uh, so, there is so much more about to come <laughs> bye bye